This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, we're back at Skeletor Park. It's cold, it's rainy. This is the only place I can find fish. The water's in the low 50s. It will not warm up because of all of the rain. Let's try a gulp minnow on a trout magnet jig head. I've had luck on this rig before. Let's see if we can get any fish today. Here we go, gulp alive minnows. These are the one inch gulp alive minnows. And I'm gonna put that on a trout magnet jig head. I'm gonna fish it under a float. So I can cast it a lot further and so I can see the strikes. All right, when I put the gulp minnow on, I want the dark side up. Just like that. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Who knows, might even get a bass. A largemouth bass. I see a few shad hitting the surface every once in a while, so there might be some bigger predator fish around. Might be. There might not be anything around. You get this kind of cold front rain, drives the water temperature down, pushes the fish off. Get a couple of warm days, the water temperature goes up a little bit. Two cold rainy days push it all back down. Welcome to Tennessee. Got him. First fish of the day. Let's see what we got here. Probably a bluegill. Yeah, not bad, six inch bluegill. Nice, good color. Got them on that trout magnet. Gulp minnow combo. I don't know if I mentioned, it's like 45 degrees right now. It's been raining all morning. I'm just out here trying to catch some fish. Got one, fish on. There we go. Is this a yellow bass? What is this? Nope, another bluegill. Pretty nice one though. Another six or seven incher here. Yeah, not bad. Seven inch bluegill. Easy. Wow, that wind is really picking up. So is the rain. Let's keep going. Still haven't caught any small largemouth bass yet this year. And when I say fish on, when I say small, I mean small like under 10 inches. I caught a few in the back of a creek about a week and a half, two weeks ago. They were good sized. They were all about a pound and a half. There's another bluegill. This one's a little bit smaller. Got about a five incher here. Rainy day bluegill. What's that, three fish so far? Not bad, not bad. But like fish, he hit that right away. But like I was saying, I'm surprised I'm not getting any small bass. You know, six, seven inch largemouth bass. Another bluegill. Good looking fish. Another one around the seven inch mark. Good looking fish. Thanks for being on the show. Vance here from Fishing with Vance. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Yeah, look at that, my minnow's getting torn up. 
and see if we can salvage it. Hook it through a different spot and try to keep fishing it. Yeah, that might work. This feels like a good one. This feels like a good fish. What do we got here? Oh my, oh my, good fish. What is this? Bass, crappie, oh gosh, monster crappie. Oh, holy cow, guys, check this out. Oh, he stabbed me right there too, I'm bleeding. Check him out, guys, monster crappie here. Let's get a quick measurement on this guy. Twelve and a half inch crappie. There we go. That's about a pound right here. One pound crappie. Twelve and a half inches. Beast. Beast. Let's let him go. Nice, nice fish. Best fish of the day right here. Wow. I gotta go put some hand sanitizer on that. Oh, that stings. Look at that. It's got a bruise forming underneath. Stabbed me good. How about that? Finally, a nice big crappie. Got him over here on this dead weed line. Wow, best fish of the day so far. 12 and a half inch crappie. Thought it was a bass. I'm actually more happy that it was a crappie. Another fish. This feels like a good one as well. What is this? Another crappie. Not nearly as big as that last one. Oh, it's a black nose. People are like, there's no such thing as a black nose crappie. Very distinct black stripe right up the nose, up its back. Black nose crappie. I think it has some other names, Magnolia or something like that, but I know it here as a black nose. Not quite as big as that last one. This one's more like an eight or nine incher. Still though, real happy to catch this guy. Fish on. Doesn't feel as big as those last two, but it's it's a good fighter. What is this? Oh, it's fighting all of a sudden. Oh, it's a bluegill with some weeds attached to his head. Now you guys can see what kind of weeds I'm fishing. Hold on, let me show you this nice bluegill first, and then I'll show you what kind of weeds those are. That's a nice bluegill here, eight incher, nice and tall. Yeah, look at them, good looking fish. So yeah, check it out. I don't know what kind of weeds these are specifically, but they're hard and fibrous, right? It's like little sticks that will break six, eight pound test line, sometimes even 12 pound test line. So these weeds ain't no joke. They're really hard, like bamboo.
There we go. Wow, that one's flopping all over the place. Another nice looking bluegill here, six incher, great color. Yeah, really, really nice. Maybe a seven incher, great color too. Yeah, this gulp minnow is really getting torn up now. This is Jacob from the Chaos Paddlers. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. fish. Doesn't feel like a monster, but pretty nice. Five, six inch bluegill here. Welcome to the show. We're gonna switch this gulp minnow out for another one. But how many fish was that on one minnow? Seven, eight, I don't know, I lost count. Yeah, who's gonna eat that, right? I gotta find some more of those crappie. Thing was amazing. I'm gonna walk down this way just a bit to see if I can get some casts up on the edge of these weeds a little further down. There we go. Fish on. Just another small bluegill here. Yeah, not bad. There we go. What do we got here? Another bluegill? Yeah, not bad. Seven incher. Nice and tall. Good looking fish. Ooh, that's way in the weeds. fish. Good fighter.
Good fighter. Oh, nice big jumbo bluegill. Yeah, nice and meaty. Big boy. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Nice bluegill here. Eight and a half, maybe close to nine inches. Nice big tall bluegill. This is Craig from Fishing with Lord Almighty, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. There we go. Hey, this feels like a decent fish. Another bluegill, I think. Good fight. Get out of there. Yeah, jumbo. Fat, fat bluegill. Look at this guy. Easy, oh my. There we go. Look at this guy. Another eight plus inch bluegill. Wow, what a great day at the lake today. I caught a whole bunch of bluegill and some nice crappies, really nice. 12 and a half incher and a cool little black nose. That's what I call a good day. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.